2020 is about over, so let's talk about all the plans that I got this year, including the ones that I bought from big box stores and the ones that I got from local nurseries. Hello everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Can you guys believe that 2021 is almost here? I'm super excited, very happy about that because 2020 was such a crazy year. I saw so many companies are out of business, people lost their job, they lost hope. A lot of people felt depressed. I am just very grateful that my family is doing okay and I'm able to keep my job and I'm able to stay calm. So today I want to share something that keeps me positive in the year of 2020. I want to talk about all the plans that I got this year, including the ones that I bought from big box stores and local nurseries. And some of them are gifted, so I will share them with you. So this year I bought 23 plants in total. I know this number might be crazy to some people, it might be too little to some people, but we don't judge here. I just simply want to share what I got this year since I've never talked about plant haul at the end of my plant shopping videos. I consider myself as a minimum purchaser. I don't buy a lot of plants. Every time before I purchase a plant, I think a lot. Is it on my wish list? Do I have to have it? Can I provide the environment to it? And most important, do I have that much money? <laughs> Especially when it comes to rare plants. So if you're interested in what I purchased this year, keep on watching. Here is the first one, String of Turtles. It is very, very cute. It is still in its original pot. Um, six inch, I picked it up at Lowe's. I believe it was back in August or September this year. So the price, I paid $10.98. Oops, some turtles just dropped. <laughs> it is pretty happy right now, very, very full. As you can see, it actually is flowering, although the flowers don't look that great and they don't smell that good. But if you look at the patterns of the turtles, of the leaves, they are very, very cute and I really like this plant. For $11 for this plant, such a nice fall plant, I think this is such a good price. Um, I'm sure you can find it at your local nurseries, but I don't see them with stock often and they're usually asking for $25 to $30 for a string of turtles for this size. String of turtles is very easy to care for. I actually water this plant every two weeks. Even though in the summertime, I water it probably one, once a week top. I think they are so low maintenance and so beautiful. And right next to the string of turtles, this is the Hoya Crimson Princess. I picked this up at, I cannot remember Walmart or Lowe's. They are also very affordable. I pay um, $14.98, I believe. It is in a eight inch hanging basket. I really like the color of the leaves. Look at this one. It has very beautiful green edges and the center is um, white or lighter yellow or lighter green color. And when the new leaves come out, they usually has a little bit pink color, just like this one. I think they are adorable. Hoya Crimson Princess or Hoya Crimson Queen are so easy to care for, so it is one of my favorite Hoyas. Right next to the Hoya Crimson Princess, you can see the Sepa Blue. This is very, very beautiful. It is trading down very, very long. I picked this one up at Walmart. 
I think I pay about $15 or $13. Again, all the plants at big box stores, they are very affordable. I really like the color of the leaves. They look just a little bit different than um, the regular green leaves. If you, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, it does have a little bit blue tone on each leaves. I think it is so pretty. And when the leaves, when the plant gets more mature, you will start to see some little holes just like the Monstera uh, adamsonii. It has a little bit of holes in the center. It looks very, very cool. And I think that's the main reason why people love zebra blue um, patho. Again, because this patho is so easy to care for, I water this plant once a week. It does need more water than the regular golden pathos and higher crimson princess and this one yeah they like water you might see some yellow leaves on this plant um, usually for hanging plants especially for pathos it is very normal that from time to time they they would have one or two yellow leaves don't worry about it. Probably did not do anything wrong. It's just the normal cycle of a plant. The next plant that I picked up this year at a big box store is this Thanksgiving cactus. Some places label it as Christmas cactus or holiday cactus, but their plant characters are pretty similar. So it bloom around Thanksgiving time. So as you can see, some of the flowers are already looking very, very sad. There are some things that you need to do after um, their bloom. And I will make an in-depth video to talk about their plant care tips. And it's so easy to care for, very easy to propagate as well. The one that I picked up, it is the white flower with a little bit pink in the center. This is very cute. Um, it is in a four inch pot. I picked it up again at Audi for $2.99 or $1.99. I think this is um, very, very, very affordable. There are some flowers still going to bloom, but for the ones that look very sad, I need to do something about it. The next two plants that I picked up are Raven ZZs. So Raven ZZ is such a beautiful plant. If you look at the foliage, it has very beautiful dark, very close to black color foliage. But if you look at their new shoots, I have several new shoots here. One, two, three, four. Um, I think there's another one on the back, but it is pretty hard for me to show you. So I picked this plant up from Whole Foods and I think I paid $15 for it. It also comes with this beautiful white ceramic pot. Raven CC is so easy to care for. If you're curious what I did to promote so many new shoots on a ZZ plant, I have a very in-depth video. It is up here, so make sure you click the link and check out that video. The next plant that I picked up at a big box store this year is this Haya Hindu rope. It's been growing a lot for me. I picked it up at Walmart. It is still in its original pot. And I pay, let me see if I still have that sticker on. Uh, probably not. I pay $13 or $14 on that. Hoya is so easy to care for. You only water it when the soil is completely dry. They kind of like the drought. So this plant really needs a drink. If the plant is very hydrated, it should be very hard for you to fold it or bend it. But now you can see the leaves are kind of wrinkly, especially right here. So it basically tells me that it needs a drink so bad. The last time that I watered this plant, probably two weeks or three weeks ago. So, yep, it sounds about right. I think this plant is so unique. I really like the shape of the leaves and it is so curly, just like curly hair. It has its character for sure. 
The next two plants that I picked up this year are both snake plants. This one is the snake plant cylindrical. It is very, very beautiful and look at the long shoots. They are actually the new shoots when I first bought it. So as you can see, there are so many, so many new growth after I purchased this plant. I picked this up at Ikea. It was also around this time of the year in January 2020. I paid $9.99. I remember this price because my birthday um, is in December and every year around Christmas time, I will go to Ikea to use my coupon, birthday coupon, to get something that I want. So $10 in this plant is $9.99. I didn't pay anything for it. So yeah, it is very, very beautiful. It is so hardy. I only water this plant probably once a month and that's it. And look at how many new growth is giving me. I'm very happy. This is the next snake plant that I bought. It is the Moonshine Sensevieria. It has very, very beautiful light color on the foliage. Look at that. I bought it at Costco. Um, it was in a very beautiful ceramic pot. They, they were selling two pack for $18.99, including those two very nice ceramic pots. So after I brought it home, I know this is completely root bound. I know they prefer root bound, but I still gave it a nice wee pot and now it looks way bigger. This one is stronger and bigger. This one, this leaf, you can tell it is the new leaf. So pretty. This is probably one of my favorite big box store finds. I cannot remember I got it at Whole Foods or Lowe's, but look at the foliage, it's so pretty. This is the variegated ficus triangularis. So cute. And oh my gosh, what is this? Wow, it's everywhere. Oh, oh, okay. So it is fruiting right now. So this plant is definitely a slow grower. After I took it home, I didn't see much growth, to be honest. So I'm very surprised to see those little fruit um, hanging on the branches in its natural habitat. This plant is living outdoors, so it produces a lot of um, small figs. A lot of birds love to eat them. Since it's producing fruit, I guess it's very happy and if you're happy, I'm very happy too. This is the last plant that I got from a big box store. Actually, this plant was gifted. It was gifted by Costa Farms. If you don't know, Costa Farms is one of the biggest suppliers, plant suppliers for most of the big box stores, including Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Whole Foods, etc. So this little fiddle is different than the fiddle effect that we can see in a lot of places because this one is the drop version of the fiddle effect. It will stay short. Look at how tiny this plant is. So if you're living in an apartment or you have a small um, space, this plant is perfect. And I did a giveaway earlier this summer and some of you guys already received the plant from me. I hope your philodific is still doing well. This plant needs a lot of bright indirect light and it requires regular watering routine. Otherwise, the back of the leaves would have um, very small red dots, just like this. But the red dots will disappear after you give it um, a nicer care. This is a new leaf. It does not have any red dots on the leaves. So I'm very happy with it. Philolithic is not the easiest plant on earth to be quite honest, but I think I'm doing great. It's doing great in my house and I am very happy. All right, let's talk about the plants that I picked up at local nurseries. So 
This is the first one. It is the Jewel Orchid Lightning Bolt. It is so pretty if you look at the pattern of the leaf. It is very, very stunning. So this is not the easiest plant. <laughs> it requires very high humidity. It could be very difficult in winter, especially in my house. My house is very, very dry. So this plant has been a um, slow grower in my home. And there's a tiny new leaf going to come out, but it's still in the middle of the forming process. But I'm very excited for it. I picked this one up at Larry's Nursery and I pay $9.99. Very, very good price. This is the second plant. It is the Singolium chimpanzee. I got it as a cutting. I actually swapped it with a local plant friend, so I didn't purchase it. I really like the dark color of the leaves. Look at this one. It is quite dark and I like it, but I don't know why all the new leaves, they are just pretty light color and you probably can see some burning on the edges. I put all my syngoliums by the south facing windows, but looks like this one does not like too much light. This is the next plant, Monstera sylvicana. Look at the leaves. I really, really like the veining of it. It also has a little bit blue here. So pretty. So I got this plant from a local plant cell. It was quite small, but now I got a couple or three new leaves. It's looking pretty good. Um, I think I need to repot it in spring because when they grow, they like to hang down or they like to draw up. So I want to give it a nice moss pole so that it can grow bigger leaves for me. The next one is the Philodendron Silver Soul. It might not look that silvery um, on the camera, but it looks very beautiful in person. I really like the long pointy leaves because this is a philodendron, so it is very easy. And you can tell there are two leaves going to come out, but the new leaves are kind of small. I need to put a moss pole uh, right next to it to train it. Otherwise, the leaves would get smaller and smaller. It is very, very beautiful. I probably can propagate it in summer because this one is a fast grower and it's stunning. I got it from the flower farm nursery and I trade this plant with um, the owner. So I have no idea how much they are selling it right now. The next plant I got this year is this beautiful philodendron micans. I know it looks a little bit dusty and dirty here, <laughs> but it is very beautiful. I like the texture, very velvety texture and uh, when the new leaves come out, it usually has a little bit pink color. I really like it. I got this plant at the beginning of 2020 and I believe I pay $3.99 or $4.99. This is the next one, one of my favorite Peperomia. This is the Peperomia elongata. It was from a leaf cutting. I got it at a local plant cell. So the leaf looks a little bit damaged, but if you look closer, there are some new shoots coming out. One, two, three. And I'm very, very excited. Oh, this plant has not done much for me because I got it in November and the temperature has been very weird in Kansas City. Sometimes very warm, but sometimes like today, super windy and super cold. So I am so glad that it finally is doing something. The next plant that I got this year is this Philodendron Brandy. This poor little guy, it got spider mites. So I use water to spray it and I left it outdoor in summer and it got sunburned. <laughs> it looks very, very sad. So now there's a new leaf going to come out and I'm happy about it, but overall it still looks very, very sad. This plant does not grow as fast as the other philodendron. Um, yeah, just want you to be aware of. 
All right, here is the next plant. This is the philodendron painted lady. I really like the color of the leaves. The pattern of the leaves is so beautiful. But as you can see, this plant is still in the nursery pot. It is a four inch pot. And this plant actually is quite big. It needs a cut so bad. And it also needs a moss pole. I didn't do a good job. I ignore it after I took it home. So it's leaning towards one side. I need to repot this plant in the upcoming spring. And I pay $14.99 in the summer of 2020. The next plant is this beautiful Peperomia Icana. It has very cute hard leaf shape leaves. So pretty and it's super velvety. I don't know if you can see that. And the color of the leaves has a little bit gray tone. So it's more muted color and I really like it. It is very different than the other green leaves plant. So cute. I got this plant from a farmer's market. It was very small, probably um, this size this summer. And now, these three branches are quite tall. I love it. And I think this is a fast grower. The next two plants are both trailing plants and they are both syndapsis. So there are some differences between those two. Um, the leaves here, they are bigger and the leaves on this one is smaller. So this one is syndapsis pictus exotica. It has very beautiful pattern and this one the leaves are smaller and the dots on the leaves are also smaller. I bought these two plants at the same time and they were both in a four inch pot. None of them were trailing but look at this one now. It has been trailing down and then if you look at the other one, it is way longer. So they are both very easy to care for. And this one, I do need to give it some water because you probably can tell some of the leaves are curling in, which means the soil is very dry and I need to give it a drink. I think they both grow very fast and this one definitely is a faster grower. I also got this plant in 2020 at a local nursery. This is um, the Poisadia's Jingle Bell variety. I just love the color, love the sparkle um, on the leaves. It's just so pretty. If you have a Poisadia at home, make sure you water your plant more often than your golden pothos because this plant does require some bright indirect sunlight and also more water. So this plant it is in a four inch pot. I have to water this plant every two to three days. This is the next plant that I got from a local nursery. This is the Hoya obovada. It is in a six inch pot. Oh, it is quite dry. I need to water it. Um, look at the leaves. It is very succulent, very hard. And if you give it less light, the foliage is darker. And on this end, they are closer to the sun, to the window. So mm, it's lighter color. I don't really like that. I kind of like the darker color on the foliage. So I probably have to move this plant back a little bit so that every single leaf could look like this. It is very pretty. I pay $15, I believe. It's very, very affordable. But after I made a plant shopping video and sharing this purchase with um, everyone in Kansas City, the nursery decided to increase the price and now you probably have to pay $38, $39 for this plant. This is the final plant that I got at a local nursery. It is the Haya pubicalis. It is so beautiful. Look at how long it's trailing right now. 
I also like the splash on the leaves. Very, very beautiful. It is still in the original pot, um, a three inch or four inch pot, quite small. And then when it's growing up, it is in a darker corner. So the leaves are darker. I like it. Hopefully it can start producing some peduncles for me. This plant is also gifted. It is so pretty. But if you want to get one, they are also pretty affordable. $10, $15. You can find it at your local nurseries for sure. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button to turn on all notifications so that whenever I have a new video up, you'll get notified by YouTube. And I'm active on Instagram and Facebook. I post a lot of behind the scenes content, plan related content. So if you would like to get to know me better, feel free to connect with me there. That's it for today's video. My name is Nicole. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Happy holidays.